Hey guys, it's me, Mike, and today I'm going to give you a quick uh, walkthrough for this one quest that is actually pretty frustrating. And it's called Arms Dealing. And what you have to do is pick up all these arms, literally, and just bring them all the way back up to here and give it to wherever, his P.O. box or whatever. So we got to go to five stations, and there's one right next to me. And a lot of people grab that right away because it's so close, but the thing is, is we're going to be coming back here so we could pick it up later. So what we're going to do is go to the very far right and just make our way around, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right now we're going to head over to the first mailbox. And see, as you can see, the time is paused, so this is a great way to save time because this is a very long road. And it's just an overall better way to go about the whole mission. Now, a lot of people think it's up there, but it's actually down here. And you also have to work, watch out for these wormhole threshers, or whatever they're called. They're going to suck you in and waste time, so you got to be as quick as possible around here. Ooh, that arm's looking good. He must have worked out. And you'll get some great dialogue from Dr. Zed while doing this. Now you're just going to keep heading back here. There's going to be a lot of enemies, but I recently took care of them. You can pretty much avoid every single one of them. Now, this second part here over here is going to be a little more difficult. So what we're going to do is not crash and fall down here. You, there's going to be a hot loader spawning right there. So it's good to keep your car away from it in case it blows it up. But there's going to be a constant supply of these hot loaders coming out of there in most cases. Apparently this time they there were no hot loaders, but or not hot loaders, but EXP loaders, exploders. Um, if you, usually I guess the first time around there was like 20 just coming out one by one, so you gotta watch out for that. I must have taken care of them. They shouldn't be too much. Just you know get in there, get out, and then up here we got these stalkers, and there's also going to be hot loaders up here, as you can see. Just just run by if you have like a turret. If you're a soldier, then go ahead and use it. Do what you can to get out of there. Because it's pretty crazy. Now over here, it's probably the most important. You can't get through this area. But we're going to ditch our vehicle for a little bit. We're going to jump right down here. Because there's no fall damage in the game. That's one of the beauties of this game. This is also one of the easier spots. And if you look at the time, we just went under two minutes. So we are almost there. You don't have to deal with any of these enemies. Unless you get stuck like I just did. You just run up here. Not much time left before those go bad. Hurry. And jump up here. Now what we're going to do is make a run for right over there. Because there is a catcher ride station over there. This will be a perfect way to get back. And we have two minutes left. So we're making perfect time. This is the best way to go about it. We have one more mailbox and it's right next to the... The finishing line, as you may call it. So don't make the mistake of grabbing the first mailbox, because that is just unnecessary and a waste of time. And you're likely going to be cutting it short. So just redeploy, teleport the vehicle, and then get going. So let's see what time we can get on this. I think that's going to be just, just under one minute. So we're just going to jump out right here and head to the last mailbox. And we're going to turn it into Dr. Zed. Good hustle. Just put those babies in my P.O. box and we'll see if that arms dealer lives up to his reputation. Now, that was kind of unnecessary for me to actually get back in the car, but... All you got to do is come up here and actually... Uh, more than a minute. So this is how it works, guys. That's all you gotta do. Now those are some pristine limbs. Well done. And then the last thing is just turn it in. Well, there's a joke somewhere about how those cost me an arm and a leg. I can't think of one right now, of course, but uh, I could sell those for a fortune. That's it, guys. You're gonna get some uh, some reward for it. You just pick whatever you want. I'm probably going to sell either one, so I'm just going to take Challenge that. Completed. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see some more walkthroughs, be sure to click like. I mean, this is kind of just, you know, situational. If I find something else that I think I can help you guys on, then I'll let you know. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. And be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more Borderlands 2. I'll see you next time.